gentlemen, please welcome your Commander-in-Chief, Jeremy Clarkson. Man may have tempered the spectre of nuclear evil, but tonight I have the unenviable task of reporting that warfare has been taken out of man's hands. We're now at the mercy of machines, and a battle the likes of which we've never seen before is about to begin. Outside the studio, women have lashed themselves to the railings. Britain is about to witness the birth of robot wars, which is all about robots fighting. They're all in the pits now, though, with Philippa Forrester. I'm surrounded by 36 teams, and over the next few weeks, they're all going to be battling for a place in the grand final. They include some of the best technicians, engineers, and radio control experts in Britain today. But even though there's only a few seconds left before the first event, they're still making final adjustments. Each week, we'll take six of those teams and let them fight it out here in our underground, bomb-proof amphitheatre. They'll be fighting obstacle courses, they'll be fighting each other, and most worrying of all, they'll be going head-to-head -head with pure, indestructible evil. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your Commander-in-Chief, Craig Charles. Now, if you've ever wondered whether machines are taking over the world, then wonder no more, cos Robot Wars is back. And it's bigger, it's more destructive, and offers more metal carnage than when Metal Mickey tried to juggle with Semtex. Robot Wars is a survival of the fittest, but as contenders aren't body beautifuls and figure-hugging lycra, they're ugly lumps of metal made out of nuts and bolts and household appliances and whatever was left lying around the garage at the time. Oh, and yeah, they want to kill each other. As always, they'll face each other, they'll face dangerous challenges, and they'll also take on the mechanical might of the house robots. And joining our competitors in the pits, yes, she's back again, here's Philippa. And this time, she's brought along a friend. And yes, I have brought a friend. This is the reason why I'm not going to be here much for this war. This is the most important friend, though. This is Julia. She's going to be looking after you and the Roboteers for the whole of this Robot Wars. And it will be a long one. Yeah, but you've been you. doing your homework. I have. I've been looking out for all the old favourites. Hypnodisc, Razor, Chaos 2. I want to know who you think I should be looking out for. Chaos 2, Razor and Hypnodisc. <laughs> Because <laughs> they're pretty good, pretty destructive robots. Yeah. But also, you've got the newcomers to look out for as well. And as we know, they come from all walks of life. Students, fathers, brothers, mothers, best friends. None of them will be talking to each other by the end of the war. You know that, don't you? Carnage, both for metal and man and, man. and woman. Anyway, I'm going to do the <laughs> ceremonial handing over of the mic. Mm. I can say, please look out for Chaos 2. Yes. Hypnodisc. Yes. And my little dear tour team from Ireland. Ah, I've spotted them already. OK. Good luck. Thank you. I'm going to buy baby grows now. <laughs> Everyone is really going to miss her. I've got the mic. I'm going to work. And the other big news is we've got two new recruits. One's rusty and a bit mean looking, and the other one's a rather attractive brunette. So, Jane, how are you settling in in the pits? Yes, Craig, I'm completely excited to be part of all this. Not only do I get to meet some of my favourite robots, but some amazing new ones are going to be taking part at this, the Seventh Wars. A completely new breed of robot is appearing. But first, it's over to Jonathan with the lineup of round one. This is Robot Wars. This is a brand new fighting arena where the robots will be doing battle. But it's not just the robots that are impressive. The arena itself is a feat of engineering. 22 meters by 22 meters. It weighs nearly 90 tons. The walls are seven meters high and made from double layered polycarbonate, more commonly known as bulletproof glass. But before the teams enter the arena, the hard work happens down here in the pits. As you can see, the teams are busy fixing up their robots ready for battle. Some of the robots our teams have built have cost up to £25,000 and they might not even make it through the first battle. And even if they do, they then have to face the biggest and baddest fighting robots on the planet. Ladies and gentlemen, the house robots are back. Shot. 
Introducing Shunt, a power-packed robot capable of pulling a Land Rover and cleaving all opponents in two with that sharpened steel axe. Dispose of indefatigable. And finally, getting rid. Then it was on to Medusa. No great worries there. On to the arena floor flipper. And having survived the battle with Chaos 2 Atomic, then in the head-to-head, -head, got rid of the seeded King B3. Now, this was a worthy victory. King B3 immobilised, and the pit. Tons of pressure. Three tons at the tip of the cloth. You don't want to mess with Razor. There's the Matilda cam looking on from the CPZ. Oh, they've activated the pit. Down goes the pit. Now, someone could be on the edge of doom very shortly, and it was very nearly nuts. You can see the flailing chain, and there the self-writing mechanism. The protective ring acts as a stream it to keep it going whichever way it topples, and it spins and attacks their terahertz. Razor after the little cluster bots, they look mini, don't they? Against the mighty terahertz.